What's up guys, Frugal BC, and I'm coming at you today to talk about Algorand governance. We're gonna show you how to do it because I'm gonna do it live right on the channel and the rewards aren't in. So we're gonna talk about that too. All that on today's Frugal BC. Hey, what's up, guys? Full of BC coming back at you. And uh, exciting news today. Everyone got their governance one period rewards. So we're going to take this opportunity to, to dive into governance two and what you need to do to sign up. For those who didn't do it last time, uh, this will be a good guide for how to do it. And we're going to use the My Algo wallet because that's what I've been using. But, uh, first, before we do that, if you'd hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. As you know, we don't guess about crypto projects on this channel. We just dive right in and we do and we make small little experiments and then we see how that does. And, you know, as someone once said, uh, we find the thing that you put in a dollar and two come out and you just do that a whole bunch of times. <laughs> and so that's what we, we look for those things that we can do that with. Um, the more you can do that, you can find those things, the more you can start building passive sources of income, and then we can reach financial independence. So uh, before I get into governance two, and I was waiting to do this video because I wanted to see how much it actually turned out to be, whether they did exactly what they said they would do, which they did. I'm happy to say I did the math ahead of time. And uh, so there was a lot of commentary online about it, you know, oh, it's the third already. How no one's got their rewards? Should we be concerned about this? And uh, it turned out it took about, I believe, about twenty minutes for everybody to get all their rewards. Fifty thousand. It's fifty thousand transactions, but uh, Algorand can handle up to a thousand a minute, so it didn't take. It really didn't take that long. So basically, the the long and the short of it is, yeah, we got we got our rewards, and that's cool. And uh, so I'm just gonna go right into it and show that to you really quick, and then we're gonna sign up for governance too. So, uh, oops, I should have to share. Okay, so we're looking right at my Algorand wallet. Uh, you can see my new balance, and this right here, transfer type algo twenty one point oh seven three eight two five. That was my. That was my Algorand reward. So that's what I got for governance one. So just for holding it in the wallet and voting, uh, this is what you get. And so everyone should have this around the same time. Mine looks, it was about 1042 last night. So they, the foundation had said it would come between January 1st and the 5th. And it was pretty close to smack dab in the middle of that. So um, if you take about, if you take it from Singapore time, which they seem to operate on, you could say it's a little late in the process, but hey, if they said, they said by the fifth and that's what happened. So I know a lot of people were concerned and I wondered because I felt like, it seemed like a lot of these things kind of stagger out. And so I, I was kind of surprised that this one didn't as well, but it really, they just kind of did it all at once. So once they got their ducks in a row, it was good to go. But that's enough of that. Uh, more exciting to me is governance period two. So as you can see, I got period two right down here. I'm on the governance.algorand.foundation backslash governance hyphen period hyphen two. That's the website. If you Google Algorand governance or Algorand foundation governance, either of those two, it'll get you to the right spot. Although when you can, if you can use the exact URL, it's a little bit safer just so there's no scams. And let's just go ahead and connect the wallet. So I use my Elgo. Um, the little signer is coming up. You won't be able to see this. I select my wallet, use that, and uh, connect it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down to, let's see, commit Elgo. So at the very bottom of the page, there's a purple box that says, you're very close to becoming a governor. Well. I guess say becoming a governor again for me, but uh, and a lot of you out there as well. Yeah, I imagine that if you're watching this video and you committed the first time, you probably aren't that interested in this, but maybe I'm wrong. So as you can see, there's a max option and what it's gonna do, if I hit max, then it's gonna put the entire balance in there minus one algo. So they build like a one algorithm buffer. I actually like to keep a much bigger buffer. And the reason for that is, as you know, this is an experimental channel. I do crypto experiments. I'm always trying out new platforms when they come in. 
and doing like an initial impression as well as doing like 30 day or 30 day, three months, six months, et cetera, et cetera. And so I, I wanna make sure I have at least a little algo to play with. So last time I did 600 algo and this time I'm gonna do 625. Now there are some people that say that you should keep a separate wallet for Algorand for governance specifically so that you don't, you know, you just, you just kind of forget about that wallet. Um, that's up to you. I don't particularly, I don't like that myself. I have no problem uh, just saying, hey, here's the amount. I won't go below this amount. That's not a big deal to me. So I'm just going to commit 625 out of my main, main wallet here. And I click commit algos. And it's doing the thing where you sign the transaction again. So you'll just continue. You'll have to put in your password. I don't think you guys are seeing this because it doesn't collect my video thing doesn't collect the pop-up windows. It's really just a matter of hitting hitting the sign button and uh, signing the various transactions as they come through. And it takes a little while. All right, there we go. It says, I think you guys can see this. It says you committed 625 algo. But that's really, that's all there is to it. Uh, we're signed up right now. There are 1.3 billion algo staked. Uh, it's 70.5 million algo rewards. So it's a little more than remember last time was 60. And there are 52,200 governors. Now, as you remember last time, by the end of the period, which by the way, you have till January 7th to do this. And uh, I would do it earlier because I think it's on there from what everyone said. Well, no, here it is. Yeah, you have it till your time. So you have two, you have, as of this video, you have two days, 21 hours and 42 minutes. So yeah, be, be mindful of that. Watch this. Even if you're not gonna do it today, pull up this website and get an idea of what your timeline is because it's a little bit different. So as you recall last time, there were, they started off with around 70,000 and we ended up with about 50,000. So, so two sevenths of the, of the people who staked got kicked out of governance whether it was from not voting or is from removing algo, more algo in, from your wallet than you committed. So when you, when you commit this algo, you have to keep that amount in your wallet at all times. You cannot go below it. The minute you go below it, you are, uh, you are kicked off. So a lot of people found that out the hard way, unfortunately, and that's a bummer. So don't, don't be, if, if this was you last time, you know, you, I think you, you learned your lesson, I hope, and will stay committed. And who knows, for some people, there might've been a good reason. Um, I've heard people talk about like, you know, some of the reasons like, oh, you needed the money for a new fridge or whatever. Th this, this money should be, this should be outside of your uh, day-to-day -day living expenses. Like you shouldn't, this shouldn't be money that you need for that. So if, if you do think that's a possibility, maybe don't commit as much, but this should, this should be like inv an investment pool that you're not gonna touch. Uh, both for the staking rewards, which I believe are phasing out, and then uh, for the governance rewards, which are pretty good. I mean, so I, I did the backwards math from the 600 that I committed. I got 21. That's about 3.5%. So, and that's that's what it was supposed to be. Um, and technically, I got like a little more than it was like seven. Uh, it was 21.07 or seven something or whatever it is. So. Um, cause it was actually 3.59%. So, but I, I wanted to like, just check the rough math to make sure it worked out and it did. So, uh, pretty happy overall with governance one. Now remember that you will have to vote too. So, uh, if you keep an eye on Reddit, if you follow the Algorand channel there, a uh, subreddit, I should say, or you follow some stuff on Twitter or even us, I'm gonna talk about the vote. I always do a video on the vote when it comes up and I kind of talk about, I work through the options and kind of talk about what it means. So you can keep an eye on this channel too, but uh, just keep an eye on. And then when, when the vote comes up, you'll go to this page again and you'll, you'll enter your wallet and then it'll, you'll have the options and you can, you'll have a certain amount of time to vote. And then you vote, it's just that simple. So anyway, uh, I think that's all I got for today. I hope that helps people understand how governance works and how you sign up for it. And uh, kind of gives you an idea of what the rewards are now that we've been through the first one. So uh, hope you guys are doing great out there. And I'm Frugal BC. Subscribe to the channel, like it, share it with your friends, and uh, we'll see you in the future.